been very careful, recognizing that uh, although we have a strong tradition of gun ownership in this country, uh, that uh, even those who possess firearms uh, for hunting, uh, for uh, self-protection, uh, and for other legitimate reasons, uh, want to make sure that the wrong people don't have them uh, for the wrong reasons. Yeah, I know. Everybody's on your side, Mr. President. Everybody loves you, and everybody shows uh, the polls, the experts. The experts are always on your side, no matter what it is. Joining us now, what, remaining with us uh, on the Mulsberg panel is Rick Unger, senior political contributor with Forbes.com and co-host of Steel and Unger on Sirius XM. And joining us is Noah Rothman, assistant online editor of Commentary Magazine. All right, so Noah, so he had his meeting with uh, the Attorney General, and lo and behold, he found out that what he wants to do, you ready for this, he's sitting down, is, quote, well within his legal authority. I had no idea she'd tell him that. <laughs> yeah, it's a real shock. Uh, I can't imagine the White House has just overcome. Uh, this isn't the, really the first time that the president is going after uh, gun laws in executive fashion. I had over the chance to, uh, over the weekend, to review Mr. Unger's uh, post on the 23 executive actions that the president implemented in 2013. Uh, in retrospect, a lot of them were really very limited, not especially far-reaching. They were actually predicated on a perception that gun and violence was really on the increase. It came just a month after Newtown. It came just a couple of months after the Aurora massacre. What's precipitating this, I'm not entirely sure, except for the fact that gun laws are loosening across America with the consent of the governed, and we're entering into an election year with a bunch of dispirited Democrats who aren't really prepared to, to get out and support Hillary Clinton. So while I, while I understand that these laws might be founded on something uh, valid, I, I certainly don't, don't know what's precipitating them except political motives on the part of this White House. Rick, well, first of all, I, 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 we see that Noah spends his, uh, spent his New Year's uh, time, reading your column. Time wisely spent, Noah. Good for you. <laughs> now, look, you know, I've actually learned a little bit more since I wrote that column, and it's kind of interesting. You know, I haven't heard the president say that he's looking at executive orders. I've heard him say he's looking at executive actions. Executive actions right. and, and what I've come to learn is that really doesn't have much more force and effect in law as if I said it. I mean, there's just not, it, there's no publication in the Federal Register. There's no memorandums which would also be published in the Federal Register. It is really questionable what an executive action does. I suspect that all it really does is give his opponents something to complain about, gives the NRA something to squawk about, and it gives anybody who's willing to buy it some, some feeling that he's done something about guns. I suspect he's done absolutely nothing and is doing absolutely nothing by more executive action. Well, well but, but, but Noah, when he, when he announces what he's going to announce, I mean, I can't imagine that he's not going to sign something if that's what it would take to, to, make these, the, the, to make people do background checks. To, 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 to people who have been convicted of uh, domestic violence, which scares me because in some states, if you yell at your wife or your girlfriend, you could be accused and convicted of domestic violence. So that means you wouldn't be able under Obama to get a gun ever. Uh, so, but I mean, so there's going to be no there there when it comes to enforcing this? Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how far he goes. We don't know what he's going to propose. He could propose uh, that the ATF look at anybody who, who performs a transaction with a weapon becomes a gun dealer. Uh, and that would be a, a, something very, very focused on legal enforcement, and that would have the force of law. So I think you would have to sign a piece of paper in order to make that, uh, in the, to, the, to, to impact that. But, but actually, Rick, your, your point about executive orders is valid in 2013 as well because those were executive actions too yeah, we've been we've been doing executive actions as opposed to executive orders so the entire part of the of this president's second term and a lot of them don't hold up in court they can certainly be overridden by the next president so they really are very and much they may political. not have any yeah they may not have any enforceability either it appears All right so yeah i want you guys to watch this because i know you were very busy on new year's eve and you didn't get to see cnn with Kathy my Griffin, who yeah he was reading uh, who year after year after year <laughs> makes a mockery of what she does and cnn instead of firing her, they eat it up. Watch. No. Let's check in with Don Lemon, Brooke Baldwin. They are standing Ask by. they've done ecstasy. No, let's not. Let's, uh, they are at Tifatina's, which is a great place in, uh, in New Orleans. Guys, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm going to, um, Kathy, what is that? Kathy, Kathy I'm going to blackmail you. Only? Oh. Kathy tried Perfect. to molest me, Anderson, Fair in the you. green room. <laughs> um, I have that is so Don, inappropriate. Really, really big. <laughs> uh, she's, she has I my ball. And I have to say, Kathy, 
I have to say, nice rack. I didn't know you had all of that. Thank you. Up there. Still patting uh, the heat on. I applaud you for that. <laughs> All right, that was part of it. We got 30 <laughs> seconds left. Uh, she also talked about, uh, to Anderson Cooper, your relationship with Caitlyn Jenner. Do you open lip kiss her? Uh, Noah, 10 seconds. I watch this every year. I watched it this year. It's the best, worst show on television. But I still felt bad because kids showed up, and I felt like I had to turn off the news channel because it was too there racy. There you go. Rick? Uh, I don't much care. If you don't like it, don't watch it. I don't watch it. So. And I don't, I'm not all that impressed with, uh, with uh, what Don Lemon said about Kathy in reality. Anyway, Ooh. all right. Um, <laughs> uh, Ami Horowitz is coming up next. Wait till you see what he did at Yale.